On behalf of Radha Krishna Astro Services, I feel extremely delighted to see you back in today's video. So, in today's video, let us focus on different types of astrological system and we will try to zero in on a specific astrological system based on which we are going to have all our videos moving forward. First step, as we discussed earlier, we have 12 signs in astrology, no matter whether you follow the Chinese astrology, the Western astrology or the Indian astrology. Okay? In Chinese astrology, the concept is they have got 12 signs. They have like names of different animals like horse, ox, rat, monkey, dragon and so on and so forth. What they do is they try to assign a specific year and again the Chinese year is not starting on January and ending on December the 31st. The Chinese year they follow the lunar calendar and this year, year 2015, the Chinese New Year was somewhere in the middle of February um, 2015. So anyone born from February of 2015 all the way to February of 2016, they are considered to be born in the goat year of this Chinese year. The interesting concept that they present is anybody born in a specific year tend to manifest same set of characteristics. That may be true, but it is not always the tr true answer because you cannot expect anybody to be born over one full year to have same set of characters and qualities. So we are not considering to go further on Chinese astrology. Next coming to the Western astrology. In Western astrology, I mean like they, they go deeper. They also, exp they also evaluate using the 12 signs and the influence of all the signs and planets associated with those signs. But what they do is they break the birth months. Say for example, if anyone born between September 24th all the way till October the 23rd, they consider them associated with the sun sign named Libra. Can you expect that everybody born within that time frame of September 24th to October 23rd to have same set of characters? same set of qualities or can you expect that they are going to enjoy or suffer the results the same way? Nah, it's not the way to go. So, though we appreciate the Westerners because they are extremely systematic in their analysis and they go to the degree and they see different aspect in, as different reasons of planetary aspects and they give predictions. It's definitely a commendable way of doing astrology but when it comes to prediction for people within the same month the, the results may be different, but they end up predicting the same, same ones. So we set aside the Western astrology that way. Now let's pick up the Indian astrology, which is, which is called the Vedic astrology. In Vedic astrology, also we have 12 signs. Within that 12 signs, okay, we have got planetary constellations. That means each planet is expected to transit through a specific set of constellations as it transits through different zodiac signs. So, assuming that within a month, each one, there are 27 stars, which we'll be discussing in greater detail in our next class. There are 27 stars, and all these 27 stars are getting accommodated in those 12 signs that we discussed earlier. So, technically speaking, a person born in a specific star may have a specific characteristics. That's better. At least within, within a month, okay, if a person was born on day number five, assuming that his star is X and a person who was born on day number 12, his star may be Y. At least we are not predicting the person born on day number five and person born on day number 12 are going to experience the same results because we are now segregating them based on their stars. So if the stars are different, then their corresponding qualities and characteristics may be different. So that's why we are trying to zero in on the Indian astrology, which is considered to be the Vedic astrology. So from this class onwards, we will try to focus more on the Vedic astrology and different aspects of Vedic astrology and try to pick up a specific methodology for our predictive astrology classes. 
Until we see in our next class, take care and talk to you soon. Thank you for your attention.